C can you hear me? Wait, wait, your eyes are moving. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, right here, right here. You can see me, right? Yeah, I thought so. I, I thought so. Um, I, I, I was worried about you. Do, do you remember what happened? Yeah, well, well, we kind of came back to your house, and you, you said you weren't feeling so well. We, we were going to play some more Switch games and stuff like that, but you weren't feeling so well, and you kind of just... I think you just black and blanked out, and it was a good thing that you were near the bed. You kind of landed on that a bit, so I just... I, I hope you didn't mind. I, I kind of lifted you up and put you on your bed so you're not, you know, ready to kind of just slip off and start rubbing your face against the carpet. I, I didn't want you to get carpet burns all over your face or anything like that, and, well, also you collapse as well. I gotta, gotta make sure that you're actually okay and breathing, and, you know, it, it was real worrying, and I... Oh, um... Uh, y you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, that was the least I could have done for you, you know? I, I could tell that this was a really serious situation, so I, you know, like I said, I could have just wrapped you up and of a blanket and kind of lifted you in bed and just kept you warm and safe. Well, uh, while putting the fan on as well, so I guess warm and cool like, at the same time, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. But are you, are you not feeling so well, like, right now? How are you feeling right now? Okay, okay, right, well, thank you for letting me know. T tell you what, tell you what, you're clearly not so well right now, so we can, we can cancel, like, you know, playing games for now and stuff. T tell you what, just keep yourself relaxed, okay? You just keep yourself relaxed here, and, uh, I I have a drink here. I, I got a glass and some water here, if you'd, uh, like some water. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let, let me pour you some. Here we go. There we are. Very nice indeed. One delicious glass of water. There you go. <laughs> Okay, um, what do I do with the situation? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, I guess, well, I, you know, I, I know I'm not a doctor, I'm not supposed to be, like, someone to take care of you and stuff like that, but uh, m maybe I could just, like, you know, maybe I could just stay by your side just to make sure you're okay for a bit longer. How, how does that sound? Sure thing, sure thing, that's, that's what a, a guy like me is for, is to support people that I care about the most. <laughs> That's what old Dub does. Oh, is that a, is that a paintbrush in my pocket? Oh, I think I remember now. Hey, I, I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, okay, I got this idea from this doctor that I, uh, well, I didn't see him. He, he sees me sometimes at really weird times, and sometimes I just, like, he takes me to these weird places. Like, I just wake up and I'm somewhere different other than, you know, my bedroom. It's really weird. But he seems friendly enough based on all the times he visited me, you know, and... So, I thought what I could do to make you feel better, he, he did this thing to me where he, he got this paintbrush, right? He didn't put any paint on it or anything like that, but he kind of just brushed my face a bit when I was laying down, kind of half tired, half awake. And I gotta admit, it was really relaxing. Would you like me to kind of do that to you? Uh, again, I, th I think he left one of his paintbrushes in one of my coat pockets. I don't know if that was deliberate or he forgot or... I don't know, he seemed kind of forgetful, but... I could do that for you if you'd like. I'm, I'm not trying to, like, be weird or creepy or something disturbing like that to you. I, I'm, I'm just suggesting, because, like I said, it worked with me, made me feel kind of quite nice, and just thought, you know, I... Oh, uh, yeah, sure, sure, um... Uh, I would be more than happy to, for you. <laughs> Alright, well, just let yourself relax. Let me, uh, let me try and brush away. There we go. Let's brush away all those bad feelings and stuff and things that are kind of filling up in your head and hopefully brush away the bad stuff, making you feel under the weather. Push them all away. Swipey swipe. Gentle swipes. Kind of like, uh, it's kind of like that cleanup simulator game, except I'm not cleaning anything, but it's kind of like, you, you know, when you can uh, swing a mop around and clean stuff up. Except I'm not 
cleaning like you know blood and guts from a from some kind of spaceship or anything like that. Instead, it's just just brushes. Just brushes, stuff like that. Hope the neighbors aren't going to be too loud. I thought I might have heard some weird noises nearby, but well, if you do, just let's just ignore that. Focus on the brush. Focus on the brush. Here we go. There we are. Yeah. I hope this is making you feel better. How's it feel? That's good. That is good. As long as you're feeling comfortable, that's what matters. You deserve to feel comfortable. Especially with me nearby. Again, if you're not comfortable with me around at any point, you just let me know and I'll, I'll vamoose and, uh, you know, I... Oh, all, all right, all right, well, th thank you for the reassurance. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, keep on brushing. All right, all right, I'll, I'll wrap it up there. I'll wrap it up there. Um... Oh, I'll, I'll tuck you in some more. I'll tuck you in some more and plump those pillows. Let me try that. Here we go. Plumpity plump. All tucked in. Here we go. I better straighten those parts out and can't have that blanket flicking away so far away from you. We gotta have it right there. There we go. Gotta make sure it's actually on you and not just sliding off and going on a vacation away from your bed. <laughs> that would be silly. All right then, so nice and warm, I hope. That's good. I just keep plumping those pillows as well. You know, I hate it when you gotta wake up every few hours and that side of the pillow is warm. You gotta flip it over, make sure it's not too lumpy, not too, uh, you know, not too out of shape. And just gotta make sure it's still cold on that side. I hate that. I wish there was something that could be invented to kind of fix that problem. That would be cool. I, t I tell you, maybe, maybe that's something I gotta work on. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Sorry, am I, am, I, am I plumping your pillows too much? Is, I hope it's not too squishy. Like, you know, I don't want you to sink in or stuff like that. Oh, that's a relief. That's a relief. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, well, I uh, guess this is, uh, all that I've done here for you, I uh, hope these little things handy. Oh, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention, I, well, well, when you were kind of, you know, laying in bed and kind of uh, pulling yourself together, I, I guess, um, I, I pulled some, some, uh, some tissues nearby in case you're feeling sick, and a trash bag as well, again, in case you're feeling sick. Of course, you got your drink nearby as well. Uh, fan is on, window is closed, just to be sure, you know, you can't be too sure about these loud, intrusive noises outside. It gets really freaky. Some of the weird noises out there, I swear, neighbors are annoying sometimes, I tell ya. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so, well, I'd like to think you're looking at least a, a little bit better. I, I certainly hope so. Well, I'm trying to think what else I can do. What else can I do for you, uh, ba, ba, ba. would you, would you like a hug? If you want, I can hug you better. Yeah, sure, sure, I, I, I always love giving you hugs, you know, you're, you're a really amazing hugger, like I always say, I, I hope that doesn't sound weird, I'm not trying to be weird, like, you know, one of those kind of stereotypes who are like, oh, I, I want to hug, give me attention, kind of thing, no, I, no, I, I generally think you're really awesome hugger and just an awesome person in general. I can't thank you enough for just all the times that that we've been hanging out, you know? It's just been awesome. I don't really have a lot of IRL friends after all, so you know, really means a lot. <laughs> really means a lot. Oh yeah, the hug, hug. Yeah, big hug. All the hugs for you. Biggest of hugs. If you want, I can just lay by your side and keep giving you hugs. Your choice. Yeah, sure. Sure. As long as you're okay with that. Absolutely fine. Let me just, uh, climb on the side here. I'll just get there. 
There we go. Well, if you're ready to snooze, because... Well, it looks like you're ready to snooze. Maybe just take a nap with you, if you'd like. Sure thing, sure thing. I, man, this bed's comfy, I'm feeling... Uh, yeah, feeling tired already. Man, did I really... Kind of squish up those pillows and straighten out those blankets enough to make it so comfy? I don't know, maybe it's that or maybe it's the hug, but... I just hope that you're feeling better soon and... And then everything will be... Okay, and you... Oh, I probably shouldn't have stayed up last night. I should have been drinking those energy drinks as well. Those are knocking me out a lot faster these days, but at the same time, like, you know, because caffeine is really bad for you. I'm going to cut down on that. I guess that's not really going to do favors for anxiety as well. So, you know, I... I would... I'm... I'm... I, I, I hope you have a wonderful rest and uh, you have some lovely dreams and I just hope that you're going to stay safe and that my hugs will do more for you to make you feel better and all kinds of stuff. Uh, 